Hi guys, I'm PJ and I'm back with another PC gaming video. This particular one is We Happy Few and I'm basically just going to go through all the options and settings that the PC version has to offer, how well it runs on this sort of particular system. Uh, the GTX 1060 is a pretty popular graphics card nowadays. That's what I've got here, it's the 6GB ROG edition version, so it's got the factory overclock etc. But hopefully we'll see how the game runs and like I said I'm going to show you every single option whether it be languages or graphics whatever. A little bit of gameplay just to show you it all moving around. We're going to go for the ultra setting like the medium setting the low setting just to see how it affects everything. I have played this game before. I played it um, on early access on Xbox when it was in the preview program. It's quite a weird quirky game. It was quite interesting at the time. However that was when it was really cheap it was pre-release so it was really really cheap this is now a full priced retail game AAA pricing in fact and uh, I don't know if you could class it as a AAA game maybe a double A game that's an opinion isn't it but uh, it's certainly certainly up there and expensive so without further ado you'll notice I've loaded uh, MSI afterburner here we've got the display on the side showing you what it's doing to all these CPU cores, graphics card, etc., and frame rate. So I'll be able to monitor all that just to see how it's going. It's automatically loaded straight into ultra wide, so we can see it supports ultra wide monitors no problem at all. 21 by 9 here. I have plugged it into 4K HDR TV. It supports 4K resolution, not a problem. It does not support HDR at all. Okay, but then again, a lot of PC games are quirky with HDR and don't seem to support it. So one of those things so if we go through what we got here here's your options setting I do graphics last because graphics is the biggie yeah um, so we go language here's your language options I won't even try and read them out because some of them I won't be able to read it's as simple as that but uh, we got quite a few quite a decent selection I have noticed that the Steam reviews for this and quite a few other reviews, the game has not done too well. Lots of bugs, stuff like that. Let's just move that away from a huge fan I've got wearing away. There we go. A load of background noise otherwise. Right, so there we go, back to English, gone through the whole set there. Audio, which is stereo, it is not surround, it doesn't support surround at all have tried it. So we've got a master volume here, you've got sound effects, dialogue, music, and broadcast, ambient and interface. You can change them all independently. Uh, we have game and hood. Now if we just go down here, you can always pause the video to have a look in detail if that helps you. There we go. I mean options here, yeah, I mean we've got target. There we go. So that's dot. So interaction off Full circle, circle, dot, yeah, that's a dot. Compass visible in direction only and off, there we go. Status effect always on. Time fade off. Same for this one, yeah. And also this one. Time. That's right, it moves the little, you know, the little arrow there that we've got the mouse pointer, it moves it when you click it, it's really annoying, so you end up clicking like not on the pointer. Minor grumble there. Uh, icons on and on, yeah, on and off. What else we got? On and off on some more stuff. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Controls. Uh, yes, it supports controller, obviously being a Steam game. And it does switch you know, between mouse, keyboard, and controller seamlessly, whether it's in the menu or in the game. Not a problem there. I mean, it was designed with consoles in mind, I guess. You know, it was on the preview program for Xbox, so uh, that would figure. Mouse sensitivity is there. We've got invert X and Y. Mouse smoothing, mapping, aim acceleration there. There's all your options for that one. Just on and off? Yeah, just on and off. Right, now, I know when I've recorded this video, there is actually an update due. So, you may well be watching this video and there could well be a later build than the one I'm running here. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I mean, the build that um, that I've seen mentioned on Twitter, etc., is going to fix a lot of bugs and crashes and glitches. So, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've not encountered any bugs, crashes, or glitches yet. 
but I've only done the start of the game where you, I don't know if you've played it at all but I'm now outside I'll put it that way I won't do any spoilers or give anything away but I'm now outside out and about so uh, we'll load into the game shortly graphics we have windowed full screen full screen and windowed pretty simple Aspect ratio can be changed, um, even, you know, you don't have to support your ultra wide if you don't want. You can go back to 4v3. Who runs 4v3 now? Really? 4v3, that's like old. 16 by 10, 16 by 9, and 21 by 9, which is what I'm running. Now, my graphics options are obviously going to possibly differ to yours because it will depend exactly what your monitor supports. Obviously, if you've got a you know, 4K ultra-wide monitor or you, you've got a um, different setup, then that will depend entirely. But my ultra-wide settings are as follows. Single, solitary, one. That's it. When I plugged it into the TV, it did actually go all the way up to 4K and all the way down to... Oh, something weird. It was under 800. Let's put this on 16 by 9 and change it. Uh, there we go, 16 by 9. So 1080p, your standard sort of default still, even in this day and age. And we got 900p, 720p. Oh, well, there you go. There's your lowest, 664. That's your lowest it goes. So, put it back again. V-Sync, well, we're going to keep that off so we can monitor the frame rate properly. And your frame rate cap, you've got 30, 40, no, 30, 50, hang on, let's try that again. 30, 50, 60, 72. That's an odd one. Now, my monitor supports 75. 72 is a bit of a weird number. Oh, well, maybe somebody else can shed some light on that. Oh, I suppose 144 refresh. Yeah, okay. 120. Unlimited. We'll leave it on unlimited so we can monitor it, like I say. And go my correction field of view, quality ultra. So it's default set my system to ultra. Now this, this system's getting on a bit. This is an old 8350 uh, FX at 4.4. I've got it clocked at at the moment. And the game is installed on a 7200 normal hard drive. Okay, 7200 speed. Operating system is Windows 10 Pro and that's installed on an Intel SSD and I'm recording to a Samsung SSD uh, so we shouldn't have any bottlenecks with recording maybe one frame, two frames maximum Okay, so we're going to leave this on Ultra we're going to load into game see what it runs like, see what it's stressing on everything over here see how we go so if we go apply we did change a few yep, yeah, that worked Good. a few bits and bops Let's see how long it takes to load into game. Continue. Like I say, I have done the, the start, like the, the, the preview bit, if you like, where you, you start the game and um, like I, say, I don't want to give anything away, but you're inside and there's a lot of little cutscenes and stuff and I'm now outside in a sort of grassy area. So hopefully a decent test to see how it runs. The consoles are locked to 30 FPS. Um, the last time I saw this running on a standard Xbox, it was not keeping 30 FPS. Not in a million years. It was like, best guess would have been about 22 to 30 FPS. It was definitely rough. But like I say, it's had upgrades and builds since then. So who knows? As for PlayStation, don't know. I've not seen it on that. And obviously it will have it will run better on the Pro and the X versions of those consoles. Still 30 FPS though. Okay, so where am I? Uh, tell you what, let's switch to controller. There we go. Nice screen tear going on there, guys. So we're still inside. So my saved game, which I saved in the middle of a field, has put me back inside. That's weird. Okay. Mm, can I just... Yes, I can exit. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm in the safe house, isn't it? Yeah. You've got safe houses and like storage lockers so you can store everything. So what we got then out here? We've got... 50, 40 to 50 FPS, I would say, on Ultra. Oh, you too. 
if you know your history. Uh, 38 FPS there, I just noticed. I'm trying to keep my eye on the FPS. 50. So it's all, all over the place, yeah? However, GPU is not exactly stressed, so that's a bit weird. CPU cores, not stressed at all. So it is down to optimization, the, the FPS. This is using Unreal Engine, which is a tried and tested engine, really. It should be, you know, fine. Like I say, there are builds being done that are going to get released that are newer than this one. 34 FPS we got there. Just the grass, isn't it? I'm not looking at the sky. I guess you get 60. You get 70 if you look at the sky. Okay, that's weird. It's a weird game. So, right, so there's Ultra. Yeah, you can see how it's running there. I will now switch it over to. Shall we go medium? Go medium. Ultra, yeah. So we'll go. Oh, it drops the rendering res. We're down to 900p. Medium settings. Shadows are on low. That's worth a mention. Okay, let's apply that. Apply. Apply. Has it done it? There's nothing to tell you it's done it. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, whatever. Seems to have done it. Right, so this is medium. FPS is still all over the place. Let's run back to the, uh, the rocket. No, I'm still seeing wild, wild fluctuations here in the FPS. It is a bit better. I'd say we're five or six FPS better off. You know. Yeah, we are better. Definitely more stable there. Okay, let's try low. Yeah. Options. And low. 720p render. This is going to look a bit blurry. Everything off or low. Take your pick. Apply. If you really don't like this apply. You, you've got about no way of knowing if it's done it until you come out. Okay. Oh yeah, we've lost all the shadows and everything. Yeah, we're, we're looking like a really old console game now. That's, that's disgusting. However, look at the FPS. That definitely worked. <laughs> we have between 80 and 120 FPS. Let's go back to the grass, the grass seems to... Oh, we dropped to 50. Wow, this really is everywhere. GPU load 25%. The optimization on this game leaves a lot to be desired. Really not looking like a good console port, if I'm honest. And I will say that console port, it is. Mm. Okay, one more change. A lot of you guys are going to be running um, 1920 by 1080. Yeah, we're obviously running the ultra wide, it's more pixels, so it's more basically more demanding so what I'm going to do drop it down 16 by 9 max it out ultra I mean don't get me wrong you can do custom look and change every single one you got temporal AA best fast and FX AA and then off so, I mean you can always drop shadows down that's always a big corporate for FPS so we'll go normal size display It worked, it's not dead. Good, brilliant. There we go. Mm, it's about curious too and curious. Yeah, a little bit better. Now the other option is to lock it. It's got an in-game lock for, you know, whatever FPS that I've just shown you go down to 30. You could lock it to 30 and just uh, play it around console levels. With the FPS. Oh, that? Um, so you can play it at 30 with higher graphical settings in the console. So I've got my phone there, bing away. That would help. 
it's not a fast paced demanding game in any way so okay, what's going on here really weird game won't take too much like I said I don't want to give spoilers away hmm. so that's it I wouldn't say it was a great PC port looking at the CPU usage the GPU usage isn't even great either I mean, when we put it on low it was still all over the place so yeah we happy few it's an interesting quirky game that's worth a play I personally don't think it's worth triple A money though I would wait for a sale or if you can get a key from some of the key sellers I don't know Green Man Gaming CD keys that type of place get it cheap if you really want to play it I mean it is gather resources craft things lock pick you know, so, yeah, sort of, sort of Fallout styley, if you like. Um, so it is weird. It can play bad. Don't get me wrong. It's certainly very playable. It's not crashing or anything. Um, but yeah, it's all right. I don't think it's worth fifty pound, man. Guys, that's it. That concludes this video. Anyone to show you all the options and settings and sort of show you how it works. Hopefully this will be of some use to somebody out there. If it is some use, please click the little thumbs up, the like icon. Uh, think about subscribing. Try and cover pretty much all the new releases that come out that are worth mention. Thanks a lot. Goodbye for now.